pantry? Uh, well, I, 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 I was thinking a lot of times about this and I think the, the most I like in Spain that people are super easy here, you know, every time I, I, I never face any stressful situations, you know, because every time when you delay, when you forget something, you ne will never hear from any like guy from Spain or girl that, oh man, sorry, we, you are out of time or something like this. They always say, ah, tranquilo, it's all fine. You will never, ever, you can count that any mistake you do will never be judged, it's you know, right, and yeah. this is something I really love living here and this is something that people, especially from my country or from Eastern Europe, must learn from the people from Spain. This is what I really love, adore. Nice, nice. And have you ever thought about cooking while playing music before? Well, honestly, I was thinking about this when I saw the first time when Ramiro showed his videos and I was like, wow, such a great concept and I was saying this many times already today because I think this is something really unique and special. And when Ramiro invited me, I was first of all honored because I know that the guys do here. You see only three persons right now here, but it's a big team on the background doing this uh, show. And I was super happy that I can come here and we will do something even Ukrainian here in the heart of Spain, you know, nice. this is super cool. Nice, nice. And um, how is the near future looking for you? Any gigs or releases that you can tell us about? Well, we have a lot of, I, I, I plan a lot of releases on my labels and we also work on my um, uh, label Codex, which is the main label in our group. And we are planning uh, some events during this summer in Ukraine. I hope we will work something, we will do something in Spain as well. Uh, well, but yeah, this is it. It's all around the, the label, it's all around the team, around the family. This is what we're going to do. Nice, nice. And Ramiro, it seems that more and more people is excited about Chef Lopez. How are you feeling about it? Do you still have that tingling sensation before the shows? Yeah, it's great uh, seeing people enjoying the show and uh, about that tingling sensation. I'm always having it just before every performing I'm doing. And uh, it's something you know, it means like I'm still passionate about the music and I care about the people, about the audience. Uh, I, I always want to make the people having a good time. So, yeah, it's something like, uh, yeah, like I care about people, you know? Yeah, definitely. And it is true that apart from music and food, you are also showing some of the most beautiful landscapes to, to the whole world. Like, mm -hmm. have you ever thought about bringing Jeff Lopez to festival and big events? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, to be honest, I've been thinking about it and why not? I mean, uh, I'm open to, to everything and uh, yeah, it could be, could, be, could be possible. Maybe we will, we will see this show in some stages in the future soon. Why not? Okay. And have you ever like play or cook? I guess cook, you haven't uh, cooked together before. No. But what about, have you played back to back before? No, we played at some parties together, yeah. but never back to back. And you know, Ramiro was right now telling about this, his concept, like having this on the festivals. And I think that can be so exciting. Can you imagine <laughs> people on the backstage after DJ was playing and like entertaining the people on the, in front, yeah, yeah, yeah. feeding people not only with music, but yeah. the food on the background. It just like, I think this concept is just insane, really. Yeah. Very yeah. good idea. Yeah. So what are we eating today? Like where does this recipe come from? So we are doing a typical Ukrainian dish. Okay. Its name is bros, but it's better uh, for Sparta to explain everything. So. Okay. What ingredients do we need, Spartak? Well, uh, honestly, uh, when we were uh, checking with Ramiro about this recipe, we found that there are hundreds of recipes of doing borscht. And uh, I will try to show the one that comes from my home. Uh, and uh, well, it's, it's really, it's very typical Ukrainian uh, food and something that we eat like every day and for us it's something that I really miss here in Spain living but thanks God my wife's cooking it so well I can explain it's pretty easy honestly okay yes uh, well uh, almost all all borscht all kind of borscht they go with meat sometimes it's pork sometimes it's beef but today we decided to take the receipt from my home so we have pork not really fat as you see also we have uh, beetroot which is super Im important we have cabbage we have potato we have onion we have uh, carrot and we have celery so well let's try to do this i hope because <laughs> normally i i cook borscht 
helping my wife to do this at home. I hope the women from Ukraine will not kill me. I hope that women from Ukraine will appreciate uh, at least my, um, how to say, <laughs> my attempt to do this, you know, like, so I will try to do my best. Ramiro is really about to help me. So of please don't judge, don't judge us hard. We will do ourselves. And honestly, I'm super happy and very honored that uh, being in this, in the middle of such amazing uh, Spanish uh, square, you know, like very typical cook Ukrainian food here. It's something for me, it's like the mix of the cultures. And this is very exciting momentum for me right now. Okay. So I, it seems that you have everything ready to begin. Yeah. Have fun. Thank and you. I see you later for the tasting, okay? See you later. Really. Bye.
on the gallon, boy. Rose is red, mine is fucking on my game. When I die, bury me with hay. When you would see me dying, I should lose no stay. Fuller now, better than I've ever been. My mind is straight, now I'm back to me again. Call me up, now I'm about to leave again. I just need a second, never wanted this to end.
Possibilities, forgetting everything, having fun. If you're in 
Berlin, Kiev, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Tokyo, London, Paris, Mexico, Italy, Germany, wherever you may be in this world, I want you to put your hands up in the air and wait with me. Because this is a party and this is a banger.
Congratulations, guys. Thank you. The, the people at home probably did not want the show to finish. We didn't want to behind the scenes. So, you want to try? Yeah, I would love to. Okay. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> uh, you definitely played well together, and I can Thank also you. say you, you made that great couple in the kitchen, too. Thanks so much, Spartak, for joining us today and for being part of this experience. Well, it was a very cool experience for me because we, break, we broke so many rules today. <laughs> it was really like we, we tried to follow the rules, but we were super improvising. But in the end, the result was even it's better great. than I expected because I know the taste of my, my childhood, you know. And when I was tried like the first time, I was like, it worked. It worked. So I'm super happy. And yes. Thanks, guys, for having me here. No, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, yes. And thanks so much, Ramiro, for surprising us today and with each episode for bringing the best of music and food all at once. And of course, thanks to the team behind the scenes and all of you for watching Insomniac TV. We promise to be back to show you another breathtaking location while Chef Lopez and his guests play music and cook for us all. Take care, and I see you very soon for another tasty episode of Sabor de España, powered by ADM Maniac here on Insomniac TV. Bye.